a message to North Korea today and the madman of the North. Let our Christians go. Breaking story coming out of North Korea. And uh, let me give you the headlines. I'll put the link below. North Korea arrests Australian Christian missionary. A call to prayer. And I ask each and every one of you, let's do just that today. Let's put out a call to prayer. We're Christians, and we've been here for 40 years. My husband is a front-line man. This is what he does, but North Korea is very different. That's why his heart was to go there. I'm asking people to pray for him. Karen Short, wife of Australian missionary John Short. It's coming out of North Korea. North Korea has arrested a Christian missionary from Australia, his family said on Wednesday, taking him into captivity even as it continues to face pressure to release an American missionary it has held for more than a year. According to a story by Jerry Mullaney for the New York Times, John Short, 75, he's 75 years old, doing the work of God was arrested in the capital Pyongyang on a Sunday Short's wife Karen said the trip was her husband's second to North Korea he had Christian materials that had been translated into Korean according to a statement by his family Short's detention comes more than a year after North Korea arrested Kenneth Bay an American missionary after he entered the country from China Bay was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor for committing hostile acts against the North by bringing the word of God and the word of salvation through Jesus Christ. Pyongyang has repeatedly resisted strong American pressure to release him. In an inter interview with Reuters, Karen Short said her husband had been open with North Korea officials about his faith and even read his Bible in front of the government guides during his first trip there. He won't be intimidated by the communists, she said. Let me continue on here. Short had been repeatedly arrested in China after doing evangelical work there and speaking out about brutality against Chinese Christians in the country, according to a biography of him posted on a Christian website by Gospel Attract. His work in China began after the death of Mao Zedong in 1976, the biography said. The New York Times reported that a native of Bamira in southern Australia, Short, came to Hong Kong in 1964, later focusing on missionary work with refugees from mainland China who had fled the Cultural Revolution. He raised three sons there with his wife, with whom he runs a Christian bookstore called the Christian Book Room. There's a little more to the article. We are going to, today, answer this call. We will lift him up in prayer to the Most High Living God. Let us pray. Father God, we come before you, each and every person in this situation and in agreement. Father, we pray for the safety and protection of this man who is doing your work and spreading your word, Father God, and protect him. Send warrior angels to surround him. Put a hedge of protection around him, Father God. You are the way maker. Make a way. Bring light into the darkness of this situation, Father hear our prayer today in Jesus name bring comfort to his wife and his family and to the other missionary that has been imprisoned within the darkness of North Korea shed light where there is no light Father God protect them keep them safe and bring them home so they can continue to do your work. This is our prayer today. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. 
and we give you all honor, praise, and glory. Amen and amen. The link will be below.